guys, Cindy over here with my RT Endeavors, and we have Abadu, who is here also. Um, she decided to stop in, I guess, to see me for a second. Um, we're here today, we're going to talk about our chronic pain ABCs, and today, I'm going to move her in just a second, but today we are on you. You. So... First thing we're going to do with our U is we're going to move a big kitty cat. Kitty cat. You ready to move? All right, she's going. Let's get down. Oh, put her on the floor. There she goes. All right, so here we go. We're going to talk about U. Um, first, we're going to do our, our bad words, whatever you want to call them. Um, I call them bad words. Uh, we have, I've actually found of three that um, I think describe my chronic pain to a T. Um, the first one is um, ugly. Yeah, it's been ugly. Um, I've actually just been dealing with uh, quite a bit of um, depression, which goes right along with that chronic pain word, ugly because it doesn't matter how hard you try or, you know, um, what you do, that chronic pain or that depression just is just plain ugly. And I think it's part of chronic pain. I really do. I think depression goes hand in hand with it. Um, unfortunately, I have was diagnosed a long, long time ago with depression. Um, and I have what they call manic depression, which is nowadays it's known as bipolar. So, yeah, little trivia there. You guys probably didn't know. But, um, yeah, I consider it ugly. I think, I think the chronic pain is just an ugly beast that if you let it, it will tear you down. And sometimes it's so hard not to fall into that trap of letting it tear you down. It's difficult, very, very difficult. Um, what I did is I just I went through my scraps and I pulled out just some papers. They're not ugly, but they're not colors that I would use a whole lot of. So these this is my ugly side, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to play around with getting some of these ugly papers. And then we'll have to poke a hole in again, but that's okay. All right, let's throw this one down here just to even it out a little bit. Yeah, so that's the first one, ugly. Um, another one that um, surfaces a lot is unbearable. Um, sometimes you get, you end up with in so much pain, it's just unbearable. It, it, it um, feels like it just wants to eat you alive and it's just awful. I'm not a fan of the pain. It, it's, of course, I don't think anybody is, but um, it's just very difficult. It's unbearable. Um, and then when you're on a good day or when you um, are working on your, you know, your good ugly, um, it can be uncomfortable. Um, just meaning that, you know, the pain, the pain is uncomfortable. It's, it's not fun. Um, of course, anybody that says it is is just plain crazy or they're taking too many meds. Um, yeah. So, that's our U words. I don't want to cover that up. I kind of like that right there. And I kind of like that right there. But, let me put this on here somewhere. That works. All right. Let's take this. I want to trim it all up. I'm going to dry it really well, and then I'm going to come back and play around. I've got a couple mediums here that I want to play around with, so give me a second and I'll be right back. Before I put any mediums on, I just want to put a little bit of this paint on. I've got some Apple Barrel Khaki, Martha Stewart, um, looks like a gold, yeah, green gold it says. So I just want to put a little bit of this paint on here. I haven't used this in a long time. Oh, that's kind of funky looking color, isn't it? You see that? Look at that color. The Martha Stewart one. Kind of funky. So yeah, um, what do we do when our pain gets unbearable, uncomfortable, and just plain ugly? Um, we have those days, unfortunately. We all have them. Um, I've had a few recently that just 
they're just not fun and you know the the biggest thing piece of advice I can give for anybody that's going through it is just take it one day at a time I don't like that I should wipe that off um, just take it one day at a time and you know when you wake up in the morning and the first thing you get is that blinding sensation of pain and you just want to put your head back under the covers and just say yeah I can't do this today yes you can um, we do it every day some days are harder than others and you know those hard days those unbearable days those days when I just I, I just can't think um, those days actually make me stronger I think um, for the days that I have a good day because I know you know I enjoy that good day and and it's it's part of who I am and I need to learn to accept the good days and do what I can on the good days versus um, the ugly and uncomfortable days so oh, I gotta grab a stencil give me a second I'll be right back all right so I just have a little bit of um, this is just texture paste by Ranger I love this texture paste I love the consistency of it um, I just I really like it so I'm just going to throw a little bit of texture down on here. I don't know. I'm in the mood to play with this tag today. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, we were talking about those unbearable days. And, you know, it's true. It, it gives me hope for the days that I have great days. And I just know that, okay, today's a horrible day. But you know what? It'll pass. Um, I will get through this. Same as I did yesterday and the day before. And, you know, you take those bad days and use those to your advantage. Um, a lot of times I'll sit and I'll cut stuff out of magazines or, um, you know, I'll do some fussy cutting or I do some coloring or I just relax and hang out with my puppy and just um, enjoy the day. You know, get caught up on some Netflix and stuff. Um, you know, it's just... That's the things you have to do on those days. And it's okay. It really is okay. I like the stencil. I think it's a stencil girl stencil. It is. Um, from 05 of 218. So May. That was a cool stencil. So I just put a little bit of that modeling paste on there. I'm going to dry it up. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to play a little bit with this string gel. But I want to put um, some color in it. So... Actually, I'll do that before I dry this. So let's take this string gel. What color do we want to put on here? Let's put, oh, I don't know. How about some kind of a yellow? Yeah, this is string gel. Um, I don't use it a lot. Oh, let's, you know what? Let's do it with some ink. Yeah. Let's throw just touch of the sink in it. Huh. And let's see what do we get. This is the fun stuff when you get to play. It's making it orangey string gel. That's good, right? So now, um, how this is, see it's really thick now, how this is supposed to be used, I really don't know, but hey. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. We're going to use it like this instead. Actually, it's kind of a cool gel. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think the, um, to be honest with you, I think the ink thickened it up too much. But hey, you live and learn, right? Alright, so now let's dry this up and I will be right back. Alright, so this is kind of dry. It's still a little bit tacky, but that's okay. Um... I'm going to take some of this. This is some of that. I think this is the Tim Holtz paper. I'm not sure. But I want to put a few pieces of this on here just for a little bit more texture. 
All right, where that came from, I don't know. Okay, and then I have this, just a piece of scrapbook paper that I just want to do some tags on. There's two. Yeah, because we have our three ugly words. Unbearable, uncomfortable, and ugly. And uh, I really can't wait to see what else you guys come up with because I'm sure there's more words out there. So what I want to do is I want to take each of these. And I'm going to try to finish this side before I start the other one because there's a few things I want to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take some tacky glue. Ugh. And put these pieces down. Just because I want something more on there. I just wanted it kind of in the middle. I'm not sure why, but I did. So that's where that's going to be. Now I want to take oh, some brads. And first thing I'm going to do use a little bit of this Martha Stewart paint and just kind of get these so they kind of fit in with the tag, right? We don't want to just lay them on there plain. Taking some of this metallic paint. Yeah, it's ugly. Chronic paint is ugly. There's no other way to put it. It's it's ugly. <laughs> but um, yeah, it makes you. Um, I think it makes me stronger. And I'll tell you, I've learned a lot from chronic pain um, from having it. Um, I'm a lot more sensitive to people as far as the chronic pain goes. You know, you don't really, you really can't, ex you really don't know what it means until you experience it. And once you do, it's something that humbles you. Oh, very much so. All right, move this out of the way. All right, so I want to get a couple little brads. I need three. Sorry if this drives you guys crazy, but I'll tell you, since I moved my brads to doing something like this, I use them a heck of a lot more. I used to have them where they were all in their own little boxes and, you know, everything was separated and I would never get them out. And I'll tell you, I like using them like this. Huh, that's not straight, but I don't care. Let's see, here's a... Yeah, and green, why not? That's the same one, right? Yeah, so it, it'd be interesting to know what, what have you guys learned um, living in chronic pain? Has it changed your views on anything? Has it changed your outlook? Has it, um, and I'm talking about, you know, positive stuff. I'm not, you know, we could all be negative Nellies and there's no reason for it. Um, you know, it is life. It chose us. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to deal with it and live with it. And, you know, I, I have no problem with that. It is what it is. So um, I'm just curious, what have you guys learned um, about living in chronic pain? Have you, you know, is it, has it made you a different person? And like I said, not in a bad way, but in a good way. And I think for me it has. I think it definitely has changed my outlook on things. Let's just poke a hole right there. Stick that in there. Now, I'm putting these on here because I can go over them on paper on the back. So, with paper on the back, I should say. Come on. There's one. Put another one right here. 
two. But yeah, like I said, I think it's it's made me. I don't think patient is the word because I'm really I don't have patience. But I think it has definitely um, made me understand some things a little bit better. Um, you know, understand the daily um, the daily battles that people go through. And I mean, it doesn't even have to be in the chronic pain realm. It can be in just everyday life. Um, it's different, and it can be difficult. All right, so here's my three tags, which I love. All right, let's put our words on here. Find me a pen that'll put my words on here. All right, so the first one is ugly. All right, and our next one is unbearable. And the other one is uncomfortable. All right, so those are our three ugly U words, right? you know I have to have my dots in here somewhere just because yeah okay I think I'm going to fill these in because I don't like them like that Yeah, so there's our ugly words. Let's look and see what our good words are. What's our good words? It's funny. I should have used last week, the back of last week's tag for this because I just thought it was so ugly. <laughs> this one isn't beautiful, but yeah, I get the point. It's you, ugly. All right, so there's our bad side. Now let's look at our good side of our tag. And I also have three words. Um, hmm, let's see. Let me move this out of the way. Let me get some papers out here. Actually, I'll just dig them out. Let's see what we've got here. Put some of this other stuff back in here, because if I don't, I'll have it everywhere. All right, so what are we going to do? Isn't that cool? friend of mine sent that on an envelope. Isn't that awesome? Vicki Brown at Messy Table Studios. One heck of a doodler. Um, all right, let me find some paper. Perfect. I like it. do some paper. All right, so let's talk about our U words that are good. All right, the first one, um, and this is the first one I think sh everybody should understand, is you have to be upfront. You have to be upfront and honest, beginning with your doctor. All right, what kind of pain are you in? Um, what, are, what are the sensations that you're feeling? What are... Um, you know, what are the problems that you're having? If you are not upfront and honest with your doctor, they're not going to be able to help you in the best way possible. So that is the very first thing. Um, I actually will sit down at times and I will uh, just write. I'm just going to put that on like that. Um, I will just sit down and listen to my body and I'll just start writing the symptoms. 
oh, you know, I've got a twinge here and I've got a, a muscle spasm there and I have a this here and a that there. And when I take that into my doctor, they understand this is exactly what I'm feeling. And, you know, I can ask questions. Well, how come, you know, when I lay down at night, do my muscles just start going crazy all over the place, you know? Um, so, yeah, and unfortunately that's part of my fibro and my back issue. Um, but yeah, the first thing you need to do is you have to be upfront and honest. And if you're not upfront and honest with your doctor, then don't expect to get the best treatment possible. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second one I have is to understand. Um, sometimes it's difficult to figure out all this pain stuff when we don't really understand what's causing it. And I've actually had to sit down with the doctor and say, okay, I need to put this in English. We need to figure out what is actually causing um, the muscle spasms in my leg. What is actually causing the nerve pain that I'm feeling? How am I, why, why am I getting the electric jolts? That kind of thing. So ask questions and understand what is wrong with your body. Understand, um, you know, how all of those um, nerves work with your brain. Once you understand what is going on, um, it helps you to understand what you can do to help yourself through those issues and through that chronic pain. What I mean by that is just to give you an example. Um, I love to go out and go shopping. All right, who doesn't? Well, some people don't, but I do. Um, I love to go shopping. I love to go out and about and wander and go to different stores and um, just do my thing, you know, my normal thing. And I have had to learn and to understand that I can't do that any longer. I cannot go out and spend an entire day shopping around in stores. My body won't do it. And you know what? It's okay. My body doesn't have to. Because what I've learned is I just take my time now and I make the best of it. So I understand that I can't walk all these different stores. I understand that if I decide I'm going to do this store, that store, and the other store, that I'm going to spend the next three days on the couch because I'm in so much pain from using my legs that is it worth it? Is it really worth it? To be honest with you, no. The stores are still there. They have a wonderful thing online called Amazon.com. I don't have to go into every store when I go out every time. I don't have to. So learning um, what your limits are and understanding your limits and understanding what you do, you know, what is good for you and what is not. Oh, I can turn these over to the back. No, I don't want to do that. Um, that's where understanding comes in. It helps you hugely with figuring out what you can and cannot do. So, you know, watch your body, listen to the signs, understand what it's telling you, and live within those restrictions, live within those limitations. This is just um, some labels. It's a sheet of labels that one day I decided to do some painty papers or something on and here it is. So sometimes I'll just take these labels and just put them down on art just for something a little bit different. So yeah, understanding is huge. Um, and, you know, understanding your spouses. Let's say it's not you that lives in chronic pain. Let's say it's your spouse. All right. Well, talk to that spouse and get to understand what they're feeling and where they're coming from and how what you may do affects them. What if, you know, you know that uh, every Thursday after work you always go get all the groceries and you pick up the laundry at the dry cleaner or you pick up the kids and you do this and you go out there and you do that and you expect your spouse to do it all with you. 
Well, what happens if, if your spouse really physically can't do all that? You know, understand their limitations as well. Don't get so caught up in your own life that you don't understand what they're going through. Because I'll tell you, it, it's a huge, 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 huge help when your spouse, when you get it, when your spouse gets it. Um, my husband, I'm very, very lucky. Yes, I know I have the support I need. He is phenomenal when it comes to my chronic pain. He does everything in his power to help me. Um, I can't say enough and I can't thank him enough and he knows it. Um, but it's, it's a huge, huge relief for me because I don't have to pretend. I don't have to, um, you know, if, if something's happening and I'm having a really bad day and we're not having dinner that night, you know, he has no problem um, going and getting something or having some toast and cereal or whatever. And, you know, sometimes you just have to understand what that person, whether it's yourself or your spouse or a friend or a family member, is going through. And, you know, be okay with it. Because it's their reality. There's nothing they can do to change it. So, I, you know, I think understanding is very important. Whether, like I said, it's yourself or someone else that you know that lives in chronic pain. And the only way you're going to take and get that understanding is by utilizing the information that's given to you. So I really don't like, now that I cut these, I don't like these tags on here. So I have to find something different. Um, let's see. Let me get out some painted papers. Grab. This is just some odd and end painted papers here. Uh, I just want something different. That might work. Oh, this one will work right here. Yeah, this is just odd. I, you know, we all have studios full of this stuff. And actually, I'm starting to get low on my painted papers. So I'm thinking I want to um, do another painted paper session. Hang on a second, I gotta grab a punch. I'm about to grab a punch. Let me see if this one's too big. So yeah, utilize the internet, utilize your doctors, utilize your family and friends, and you know, ask your questions and begin to understand because once you understand, it's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge help for everybody concerned. Um, so, yeah, those are my U's. Yeah, and I'm actually having fun playing with this tag today. So, I like these. Aren't these cool? Doo -doo. So, these are my U's, which I'm just going to put here. But before I do that, This is just an old phone book. Well, new phone book, but old now because I'm using it for this. Um, I just want to get my my ends done. Yeah, so what else? I'm trying to think of what else you guys can, um, you know, do. Use. Use is another word. Use your um, tools, whether it be your ice machine, your TENS unit, your cane, your walker, your scooter, use what's available to you. So that's another one. Um, understand. I'm trying to think. What else? What do you think? What else do you think? I think that's all I can think of today. Apparently my brain's about shot. So yeah, I'm going to put these on here and we'll put our words on here. It's awful quiet in the other room. I wonder if Pucky Dog is sleeping or if she's playing. Or getting in trouble. She's with Daddy, so she's probably getting in trouble. That's okay. 
I like these, but you know what? I don't really want to do brads, so we're just going to glue them on. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. I tried so hard. Sorry, I'm singing, guys. You don't want me singing, trust me. Um, all right, let's put our words on here. So we have up front, be up front. Uh, understand. And utilize. I-L-I-Z-E. And when I say utilize, you know, um, like I said, research on the internet, talk to your doctor, talk to family, talk to friends, all of that um, is what you need. And I need to find a piece of string. Let's see, what kind of string shall we use? Let's use this one today. A piece of string, I need a pair of scissors. That one's gonna work. This one will work. I have a drawer back there that I just kind of throw this stuff into. Then I just pull out a piece I think would work. <laughs> and I just cut it off in the middle. It doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, so this has been an interesting tag to create today. Um, I've enjoyed it which is a good thing. All right, so let's take, uh, let's take, I'm gonna put a big U right here. And a big U right here. You, you, you. All right, and we're just going to put a you here. All right, so there's our tag for this week. On the back, we have ugly, unbearable, uncomfortable. And on the front, we have upfront, understand, and utilize. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.